Hi again. Uh, so we're having a bit of a heat wave in the UK right now and um, I thought I'd make a, a little video about s'mores. You might not have heard of s'mores or maybe you already know what s'mores are. Well, I'm going to explain everything, where they come from and how to make them. I'll quickly show you the temperature right now. It's a bit crazy for this country. It never normally gets over 30 degrees, not in the north of England. And definitely not at this time of the evening as well. So yeah, I'm about to go to the beach, but first I need to get one extra ingredient that I don't already have. There's three ingredients that you need, marshmallows, crackers, and chocolate. I still need the chocolate, so I'm gonna go and get some. Normally there's never anybody at this beach, but because the weather's so nice, there's a few people dotted about. Okay, so I've got the main ingredient, which is the fire going. Uh, the next three things that you need is the marshmallows, uh, crackers and chocolate. I got galaxy chocolate, which you probably can't find outside of the UK, which is a shame because it's really nice. It's my favorite chocolate. Uh, maybe you, if you have a look around, you might be lucky and you might get it somewhere or maybe online. Uh, the crackers, I think as long as they're sweet, that should be fine. Originally it was graham crackers, which you can't actually get in the UK. And uh, yeah, the background is basically, it started off uh, in America and Canada uh, around the early 1900s, mainly by boy and girl scouts. And s'mores literally is just a shortened version of some more. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you how to put them together and uh, you'll see why they're so tasty. So here's my marshmallows and my crackers and there is my chocolate ready on top of the crackers. Now I'm just going to put my marshmallow over the fire until it starts to melt the outside of it. And then we put it between and it turns into some delicious tasty goodness. So nicely toasted. I'm going to put it on top of the chocolate so that it melts the chocolate when I put the other cracker over the top. 